Let's start with a, a deep breath. With you, would you breathe with me? Breathe, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, and as you breathe in, breathe in the Spirit of God. Invite the Spirit of God into your life, into your decisions, your, your, your heart, God's goodness, God's grace, God's joy, God's peace, God's life. And breathe out, and as you breathe out, let go of, of everything else, your, your fears, your anxieties, your insecurities, sin, the things that distract you, that keep you from trusting in God's goodness. Breathe in, breathe out. Would you pray with me? Lord, thank you for this time together. We ask that you would breathe your spirit on us, in us, that you would make us into the people that you want us to be. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So we're continuing to reflect together on the Apostles' Creed and I invite you to, to say it along with me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, he descended to the dead. On the third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. My, my dad just got my son a, a telescope, and he's reading all, all about it, wants to learn how, how to use it, practice using it. He wants to study the stars. He wants to be an, an astronaut, use the telescope to see and study. You might have seen the images from the, the new James Webb telescope. The, the, the galaxies in, in full color. I mean, the oranges and reds and blues and purples and everything. It's, it's, it's beautiful. There's like what looks like mountain ranges of, of starry clouds, thousands, thousands of galaxies. Our whole planet, just, just one grain of sand alongside an, an ocean of beauty, of, of majesty, of, of mystery maker of, of heaven and earth, whatever, whoever made all of this must have some kind of unreal power, unreal skill, in, indescribable. It's not just the galaxies and the stars that zoom in and I think of my own body, 200 some bones and blood vessels and ligaments and organs and fingernails and, and hair all, all together and it just just works. It makes me, me. And I, on, on top of all of that, I can, I can dream. I can imagine. I can create too. I can doubt. I can hurt. I can feel. I can love. All of that made with, with a word. Just a word, Genesis says. Light. And there was light. And seas and land and... and Animals and sun and moon and stars and, and people and, and, and you and me. All of it good with, with just a word. That's power, maker of heaven and earth. A side note here, uh, sometimes we get caught up in, in petty arguments about Genesis, scripture versus science kind of thing saying that the, the, the earth has to only be a few thousand years old or it was only made in six 24-hour periods. The church, we, we have had some pretty embarrassing positions uh, against science over the years. But the creed, scripture, 
isn't meant to be a biology or, or a, a, a geology textbook. It's theology. It's, it's about God, about our relationship with God, God's relationship with us, about God's love. It's not really interested in, in how everything was made, how everything came to be. It's who created us, who makes everything. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. However it all came to be, however long it took for the, the continents to take the shape that, that we recognize today, for the, the Milky Way to take on its current configuration, for, for the universe to expand in such a way for, for humans to walk and talk. It it's all starts with God, all sourced in God. A word from God, a thought, an idea, a dream imagined by God, logic from God, logos to use the word that John uses in his gospel, all, all came out of, in, through God, in God's steadfast love. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever, Psalm 136 says. By his understanding made, made the heavens, spread the earth out over the waters, the sun and the moon and the stars, for his steadfast love endures forever. That's the phrase repeated over and over in that psalm, meant to stick in our hearts, in our minds. Get this, whenever, however, Whatever it all came to be, it all came to be through God, through God's love. His steadfast love endures forever. That's what I want my son to ultimately see when he looks out at the stars. Not just stars, not just where they came from, but God's steadfast love. See, the creed reminds us that not only is God maker of heaven and earth, but, but Father Almighty too. Our Father, maker of heaven and earth, there's, there's not really a whole lot for us to relate to there. Uh, maybe some awe, maybe, maybe fear, but, but distant, not something to really love. Father Almighty, well, I guess that's not necessarily just automatically easier to relate to. Father can be such a loaded term, it depends on a lot on your own relationships and, and experience. I love my dad, but my dad is, is not perfect. He made it and makes his own mistakes, just like I have made my own mistakes in, in my life. And I, I love my children imperfectly. I don't always seek to, to listen or understand them or see things from their perspective, feel things from their perspective, I, I forget or, or I forget to act in my love. I, I, I deeply love them, but I, I'm imperfect in it. Not God, though. God is the Father of all fathers, Father Almighty, the one that we would do well, us earthly fathers, to be a little bit more like, loves perfectly and deeply. Call no one your Father on earth, Jesus says. You have one Father, the one in heaven. Whatever your genetics, whatever blood says, we all share one Father, Father Almighty, one who made us, we're his children. His steadfast love endures forever. Father is a loaded term, but we use the word Father because that's the word that Jesus used. Father, Abba, Dad. It's the subject of much of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus describing our Father in heaven. Makes the sun rise on, on the good and on the evil. Gives rain to the unjust and the just. Sees and rewards in, in secret. Forgives. Knows, feeds. Knows, knows what you need. Gives, gives good things. Jesus saw and, and, and teaches that, that the universe, the one who made the universe, is fundamentally safe. That there's nothing evil that we need to fear, not even death. 
It's in our Father's hands. God loves us. His steadfast love endures forever. The apostles see the way that, that Jesus is, the way that Jesus prays. They see his connection, and, and they want it too. Lord, Lord, teach us to pray, they say, and he does. Start this way, he says. Our Father, who art in heaven. Our Father. And so they teach us the same thing. It's not just, I believe in God, maker of heaven and earth, things seen and unseen, but Father Almighty, our Father, Dad, Abba. It's what the Spirit says and witnesses to within us, Paul says in Romans, reminds us that we're children of God, children of the Father Almighty. His steadfast love endures forever. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Would you pray with me? Lord, help us to see, to know, to understand, to believe in your steadfast love. You made us, you love us, we're in your hands. Make us into the people that you want us to be. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness. May he protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he's shown you. And may he bring you home rejoicing once again to our door. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.